is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Becca and welcome to cosplay and books and this is the account where I talk about books and then cosplay from the ones that I like the most maybe and today we are going to be doing my very 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 late March reading wrap up I meant to do this early April and I was too busy so now I'm doing it April 30th oops um the only thing is about this is that I don't have a lot of the physical books with me because I got a lot from the library. Support your local libraries. <laughs> uh, so I have like two that I actually own. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna get right into it. Let's go. So uh, we're gonna start off with the stats of all of the books that I read. So I read 12 books in the month of March. I almost said January for some reason. Um, I read 409, 4,900 pages. Uh, my highest genre was fantasy. My average rating was 4.52 stars. Yes, that's correct. Um, uh, I rated zero bo books, one through three stars. I rated one book, 3.5 stars. I rated two books, four stars. Three books, three, uh, 4.5 stars. Three books, 4.75 stars. And three books, five stars. So, let's get into those statistics. I think someone's mowing outside my house. We're not going to talk about that. All right. So, the first book, I'm going to go from lowest star rating to lowest star rating to highest star rating. I don't know why I decided to do that, but we did. Okay. So, the lowest star rating was Splintered by A.G. Howard, which is an Alice in Wonderland I don't want to say retelling because it's not really a retelling it's more of a descendants kind of thing um which i rated 3.5 stars and uh the only reason that i didn't rate this higher was because one it was kind of slow in the beginning and the chapters were so long they were like 30 pages each and i do not have that kind of attention span especially when a chapter is boring i'm like i can't do this man so that was, it took me a little while to read just because of that. Uh, but I did like it. I liked the storyline. Um, I liked when they got to Wonderland. I thought it was good. Um, I definitely recommend this book if you like, like the Tim Burton version of Wonder, of Alice in Wonderland rather than like the original book or the Disney movie or the musical. Because this has a lot of darker, like, elements to it. It feels a lot darker, more Tim Burton-y than like the original stuff but I again it was slow also it was a love triangle and I didn't really know I hate love triangles for one because I always seem to pick the wrong one um but uh yeah I don't know what I'm saying anymore I didn't like it that much well I did I will be continuing the series it was good yeah Next book I read, which was a four stars, is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I don't know why I didn't rate this higher, because I feel like if I reread it, I would rate it higher, but we're going to stick with the original ratings and talk about it. The only reason I didn't rate it like super high was because it was kind of slow in the beginning, kind of like splintered. Um, I think once Evangeline and Jax got to like the Magnificent North, I think that's what it's called, it got better. And it got faster paced and I started liking the characters more. I love Jax. He's amazing. I love him. Um, yes. That's, that's it. I liked the ending. I liked all of it, basically. <laughs> it was a good book. Um, Stephanie Garber does not disappoint. All right. The next book that I rated for stars was uh, The Upside of Falling by Alex Light, which is... A romance book a YA romance book um this was like a palette cleanser at the end of uh March that I decided to read because I was gonna read so much fantasy going into April for Realmathon that I was like I need to do a little palette cleanser and also I needed a short book that wouldn't take a long time to read because I had like a week left of March but I needed something to read to like tie me over so I read this one it was not bad it was it was cute it was cliche i love a good cute cliche moment it was very high school rom-com 
sort of thing very wet patty because it is a wet pad story but what what YA romance book isn't wet patty to be honest I don't know any um so yeah that was a four star and the next one which was a 4.5 stars is the uh, not the a curse so dark and lonely this is a beauty and the beast retelling I liked this book the only reason it didn't get like higher rating was because a it started with a kidnapping trope and I don't like kidnapping tropes sorry um th this yeah it was cute though I liked the ending um another thing that I didn't like that I didn't talk about that I didn't uh, think about until more recently was the fact that when she fell in love with him she didn't know he was a beast which makes it like kind of like miss the point of Beauty and the Beast and the fact that it's this girl falling in love with a beast and not just like a conventionally attractive man but in this, she, like, just fell in love with a conventionally attractive man. And then after she fell in love with him, she realized he was a beast. I didn't like that. But it was still cute. I still like it. Um, I'm going to try to conv continue the story, but I have to find the next book. So, uh, yes. Next is Unravel Me, which, again, 4.5 stars. This is the second book in the Shatter Me series. This was a really good book. If you know me, if you watched my February wrap up, you know that I didn't really like Shatter Me that much, but it was, someone is DMing me on Instagram right now. One second. Sorry about that. A friend of mine was talking about a book that I just read. So uh, anyway, Unravel Me. I didn't like the first book shatter me um I thought it was kind of boring no not boring but like I just didn't get the hype that everyone else gave it but then I read unravel me and I also when I read shatter me didn't like Aaron Warner and then I read unravel me and I fell in love with Aaron Warner he's amazing <laughs> anyway um I think I liked him more in this book because he felt more human and less robotic than he did in like the first one also, the scene when he's playing with a puppy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I, I didn't, you know, enjoy it. I felt like, like the first half was kind of boring and then the ending was great. Yeah, so that was a 4.5 stars. The next 4.5 stars is one that I actually own, which you can see a physical book now, is <laughs> Legendary by Stephanie Garber. I liked this book. It was good. I didn't like it as much as Caraval, clearly, because I only gave it 4.5, where I gave Caraval 5. And I, um, the reason I didn't like it is because, I don't really know. I think I just couldn't connect with Donatella um, as much as I could connect with Scarlet. Um, but it does have Jax in it, which is the entire reason that I started reading it, because I went, read Once Upon a Broken Heart first. And then I was like, this has Jax in it. I'm going to read it now. So I read it. And as much as I love Jax, legend. Haha, <laughs> -ha, I love him. It was a good book. 4.5 stars. All right. The next book, um, which is a 4.75 stars, was Killjoy by Holly Jackson. This is the prequel novella to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which, if you know me, I love A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Uh, I liked this book because it was a lot more fun and, like, it had funnier moments. Like, it was more comedy and lighthearted than, like, the original series, whereas, like, yeah, Ravi brought a lot of, like, comedic relief in the original series. This, because it wasn't real, was more comedic and lighthearted. Um, so I did like that. Um, I love how it was 1920s murder mystery because I love the 1920s and I love murder mysteries. Yeah, that's all I really explain. 4.75 stars. Uh, the next 
The next book that I rated 4.75 was The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I think that's right. It is. Yeah, I think so. I don't have any of the names written down for some reason. Um, yeah, this book was really good. Uh, some people, I, I've always heard mixed reviews. Some people were like, oh my gosh, this is like the best book ever. And then some people were like, eh, it's okay. So I didn't know what to expect. And then I read it and I loved it. Um, I love Grayson. I love Jameson. J Jame J Jamie, whatever. I'm not going to pronounce names correctly. Uh, I thought the mystery was good. I thought the romance was good in it. Yes, that is all I, that's all I have to say. 4.5 stars. Uh, the next book is another one that I own. I own none of the five star books. That's sad. Um, but it is More Than We Can Tell by Bridget Kemmerer. I am horrible with names. Kemmerer? Kemmerer? Kemmerer. Kemmerer. I'm gonna say camera for right now. This book is a book that I didn't know existed until we were gonna get rid of it and then I was like hey that sounds interesting I'm gonna read it and so I did and I loved it it was so cute it is a cute little romance it's not that cute it actually has some dark pretty dark moments in it I recommend if you want to read this one look at the trigger warnings because there is a couple of dark subjects in it but it, it was cute um, it was very emotional. I cried a lot during this book. It was good and I liked it. Uh, 4.75 stars was this one. Um, the next book, which is a five stars, was Supernova by Marissa Meyer. I actually started reading this in February, but I finished it in March, so I'm just going to count it as a March book. It's kind of a mix of the both, but this was a five stars. This entire series was a five stars. I love this series so much. Uh, it's the third in the Renegades trilogy. It was really good. It was a great ending. Adrian and Nova are so adorable. <laughs> They're adorable as together. I love them. Uh, I don't really know what else to talk about this book besides the fact that it was really good. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not like a superhero person. I think I said that in my February wrap up when I read the other two. I'm not a superhero person, but I loved this series so much. Um, okay, the next five-star book was The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. This is the second in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. I'm, I love this book so much. It was, I loved it a lot more than the first book. It was just really good. I don't know why it was so good, but it was. I love Jax so much that the, the any scene with him and Evangeline being all like flirty, but also like enemies, it's so cute. I love it. He's amazing. I am so excited for October when the next book comes out. I will be reading it immediately. So fast. And anyway, next, the last book that I read in March was Finale by Stephanie Garber. I read a lot of Stephanie Garber books this month. Um, yeah, I read four Stephanie Garber books this month. I have a problem. Uh, this is the finale of the Caraval series. Um, I loved how this was dual POV um, with Tella and Scarlet and then at the end it has legend. I loved that. I love the romance. I love the mystery sort of element and not really mystery but like uh, I love the fantasy part. The just the whole story was really nice and I really liked it and it was a five star and everyone everyone hates that book for some reason. Like, anytime I see someone talking about the Caraval series, they're like, oh, Finale sucks. It's, like, awful. And some people even, like, DNF it. I loved it. Speaking of DNF, I never talked about it, my DNFs, which I probably should do. I'll do that after. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's talk about that now, then. Because I just got reminded I completely spaced on DNFs. Uh, I think I only DNF two books in the month of March, which were... This one's gonna get me killed because this is such a popular book. Maybe I'll try it again one day. Who knows? Uh, but it was If We Were Villains by ML Rio. Uh, listen, I'm a theater kid. I love theater. But I also love murder mysteries. One, it was slow. It was really slow. I was like on page like 70 or something. I don't know where I was to be honest. I don't remember. But I was somewhere and there was still no murder and I was waiting for that murder mystery in it 
and there was nothing and it was boring and also another thing was the format no I liked the point that I liked where it was like oh act one scene one act two scene two. I liked that that was cool because I was like oh it's like theater the only thing I didn't like was some points it would be normal book dialogue so it'd be quotation mark this is the character is this is what the character is saying quotation mark this is the character that said it and then sometimes it would go to script format where it would be like character's name this is what they said and I didn't like that see I would have been fine if it would have like done that the entire book like I've seen books that not necessarily books but I've seen fan fiction do that before that's fine whatever I would have been fine with that I would have even even been fine with it if it was like one entire like chapter scene whatever was book like book format and then one the next one like the next chapter was script format I would have been fine with that even but the fact that like halfway through a chapter it would switch and I I, I was like what's happening this doesn't make any sense sorry I might read it again who knows we'll see why am I always DNFing popular books the next book that I DNFed was The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning this book wasn't bad I'm not gonna lie but it was kind of boring um I heard like people were talking about how it's like oh it's like The Princess Bride it is not like The Princess Bride kind of but like no it's really not because one in the princess bride buttercup is not like buttercup that's her name right i think that's her name is not like um i don't remember what the, i don't remember what the main character's name the main character in the princess will save you they are nothing alike for one it feels more like i mean maybe it's like opposite but like even then it was still not and it was just kind of kind of boring I got through like a hundred ish pages of it and DNF'd it we're not gonna talk about it it's okay you know what DNF books do it that book you're not enjoying DNF it right now drop it put it down go read a book you like this is your sign <laughs> read a book even if it's popular I don't care if you don't like a book put it down and go read something that you're going to enjoy because life's too short to read books that we're not going to enjoy. Anyway, I have a few more statistics to talk about, which is, okay, so the longest book that I read in March was Supernova at 560 pages. Yes, that series is long. <laughs> I understand that series, every single one of those books is over 500 pages, but they are so worth it. They're amazing. The shortest book I read was Killjoy, which was 160 pages. I read it in one day. It was really good. And I really liked it. So, and the, my favorite book was The Ballad of Never After, because Jax. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so, um, yeah, that is all for today, my March reading wrap up. Um, I'm going to be filming my April one soon, as soon as April ends, because I Maybe I'll finish another book today. Highly doubt it, but we'll see. I have like five hours left of the day. Who knows? Um, anyway, that is the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, comment down below um, what your favorite book that you read in March was, and make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!